Hey guys, it's Tech in the Classroom again, and this is Brandon Wilmarth. You've got an iPad and you need to turn it into the media specialist or someone to uh, make sure that it gets where it needs to for the summer. But you've got all these apps and you want to make sure that whenever you come back and or sign in in August that they're all still there. You need to do a couple things. Uh, first, you need to prep it for whoever is going to be taking care of it. Make sure that you go into your settings and sign out of iCloud and iTunes and anything that has any type of personal data, especially iCloud and that account. Because if we don't do that, then we can't reconfigure it, update it, that type of thing. Uh, so go ahead and make sure that you get in the iCloud tab right there. And then you'll probably see your personal uh, whatever account you have set up, all of the settings right there. And then at the very bottom, if you scroll down, hit sign out. Now, yes, of course, we want to sign out. Now, you're not going to lose any data because it's all stored in the cloud. So go ahead and turn off notes, everything that's on that iPad. Uh, you can go ahead and delete, especially if you've got it synced with anything else. Uh, maybe your phone already has the notes. Same thing with all of your iCloud data. Go ahead and delete from iPad. iPad. There we go. Now you don't need to see my password, but I'm going to pretend that I don't know my password. So let's just put in a fake one and see what happens. It's going to give me the little wiggle. Oh, okay, well, let's try the other password that I wrote on the sticky note here. And wiggle again. Okay, so now this might be the case for many of you that forgot your iCloud password. Now, you don't have to go anywhere, you don't have to do anything, as long as you remember your security answers or you set up a recovery email. So go up to your actual iCloud account, click on your name there, and then go to password and security. Well, you can see right here that there's a rescue email, and I think that's very important as well. So if you ever forget your password or security questions, they can reset it via email. So make sure that's a verified email. You can see right there that it allows you to change password. So if I select that, all right, so now again, if you remember both of these, you're solid. But if you forgot the answer, well, you just click on that. And then it's going to automatically ask, well, do you want me to go ahead and send an email and reset by email? And if that is the case for you if you have access to that email this is the easiest way to do it if you forgot your security answers so go ahead and figure out how to change your password once you know your password then you can sign out and it's just as simple as what we did before go ahead and click on sign out and go through the same process that you saw just a second ago either keep on the ipad if you know you're getting it back or delete off the ipad if you're turning it in for good so go ahead and put in the correct password and as soon as you select turn it off it's going to connect to the cloud and basically sign you out of this ipad it's going to sign you out of find my ipad as well as the actual physical files that are on that ipad okay so that's the most important part now secondly you'll probably want to go to your itunes and app store and make sure that all of that data is signed out as well so simply hit sign out and this one i'm not sure it's going to ask you for a password since we just did that it may ask you if you hadn't previously signed out of icloud and you have lots of other data in here whether it's your mail uh, different apps that you might have specific information in that you want to check and sign out of any of that so i hope this video helped you out uh, you can watch another video that i've made if you need help signing back into your ipad and uh, you can see that link right here so as always email me if you have any questions it's brandon wilmarth at moreschools.com or check out the tech in the classroom youtube channel